Hey, Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida, live from the Christmas room. Today is the day I'm going to eat my Oreo cookies. That's right, Oreo cookies down the hatch today. Sit back, relax. You are about to watch a Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Okay, guys, this is the day I've been waiting for. Uh, most of the people that are on diets call it a cheat day. I call it a fun day because this is the day I get to eat whatever it is that I want to eat. And that's important to me because I look forward to Sunday when I get to eat what I want without restriction. Now, I don't call it a diet, and that's why I don't call it a cheat day because on a diet, you wind up cheating, and then I would have never lost the 40 pounds. It's just the way it is. All right, so... Uh, just so you guys know, I'm recording this with two cameras, but you're only going to see the one camera angle on this channel. I'm recording with the second camera angle, which is the Canon 80D for the Peter Gregg 4K uh, channel. So if you want to see that video, which shows a little bit what happens before and a little bit what happens after. So if you're interested in watching that, I'll put a link uh, to that down below. So in the meantime, I made a bet with, I guess, you guys that Canon was not going to put 4K into the um, Canon M50. And lo and behold, they did. And I said I would eat five Oreo cookies if I lost the bet. So I lost the bet. All right. Now. And now I'm going to come over here and I'm using the Sony which has got, uh, I've got face detection running. How did I do it? I'm gonna make a whole video to let you know. I'm gonna go over here, make sure my lamp is on. The lamp is on. Um, in case you can't tell, I dressed up for the occasion. I put on a nice jacket, a tie, a suit. I even took a shower, so it smells good in here. I washed my hair, my fingers, nose, and toes. I washed behind my ears. I brushed my teeth and now I am ready for the main event. We are going to eat five cookies. These are Oreo cookies. Um, they've got high fructose in them. They've got a lot of sugar. They've got everything that we're not supposed to eat, yet they're a treat. And that's why I'm going to be having five of the cookies. So here's two of the cookies and I'm gonna place them right down here in a plate in front of me. And then I'm gonna open this up a little bit wider and here's two more of the cookies and I'm going to place them so now we have four and then when I go down in the package th there's two more so that makes it six cookies so why is it going to be for five cookies instead of the six cookies there's a reason for that one of the cookies is a failure so by eating the other five cookies it's hoping that we're going to actually make it uh, for the other five things to come to pass in a good way. All right, so the cookie is, is firm. There's white filling between it. Um, it smells really, really good. Oreos have a way of making the cookies smell good. And I do have a glass here in front of me, and it's got some milk in there because many people will actually dunk the cookie. All right, so each cookie is going to have a purpose, and that's why I'm eating five of all things, uh, all, all numbers, okay? So the first cookie is designed so that it'll break, crack, chew, and swallow whatever the hindrances are to the 1DX Mark II from getting 4K when it becomes the 1DX Mark II and a half or the 1DX Mark III. So this is the first cookie of the five that I'm going to eat.
the taste is very good. Spot on for what you would expect an Oreo cookie to be. Exactly. It's crunchy. Both cookies on both sides are crunchy. The filling is just the right amount to hit the right spot. And it's very, very good. I never did tell you the rest of it uh, for the Sony A7R Mark III. We're shooting it at ISO 1000 at 1 60th of a second. We, we white balanced with a better white balance, which I pre-white balanced the camera. Uh, the Canon camera, you've already been pre-white balanced. So the first cookie was for the 1DX Mark II that when they do come out with the 1DX Mark III, it will have 4K and it will be a good 4K, not an MJPEG. So it'll become the 1DX Mark III. And when that happens, we just crumpled all the opposition that's within Canon. I chewed it away. I swallowed it. The next cookie. This is cookie number two. This is for the 5D Mark IV camera. When this gets 4K in it, it, what, it might become the 5D Mark V, the 5D Mark IV-N. Who knows how they're going to name it, but it also has MJPEG in it. And that MJ, MJPEG is a block and a barrier to people actually being able to make it a usable camera. And the crop factor is very, very strong. So I'm going to eat this cookie, uh, the second cookie of five, an Oreo cookie. And the purpose is, so the 5D Mark IV, when it becomes the 5D Mark V, it will get wonderful, beautiful, delicious, creamy 4K. Here's to the 5D Mark IV, becoming the 5D Mark V. Hi, Peter Gregg, 4K. Well, there we have it. We now have eaten two of the cookies. One in the name of the 1D Mark IV, Mark II, I'm sorry. The 1DX Mark II. One in the name of the 5D Mark IV. So when it becomes a Mark V, it's going to have a delicious, crumbly, wonderfully working um, 4K. The second cookie was just as good as the first one. The consistency in this bag. I have to say is excellent. Everything is very good. This video is fashioned after a video called The Report of the Week, which I enjoy watching. It's as dumb as could be, believe it or not, but I enjoy watching it. I need to step back over here. Uh, we have updated settings in the Sony um, A7R Mark III. Uh, the Sony, uh, it's updated for the focusing ability. If you notice, I'm deeper. You can actually see the cookies here. And now we're going to go with the third cookie. This cookie is to crumble um, any 4K hindrance from coming into the Canon 7D uh, Mark III. Uh, that's got the highest rumor for something coming out for it, and it could be this year. But just in case Canon decides that there's some kind of a blockage or some reason for them not to actually do the uh, the proper 4K in the 7D Mark III. This is going to be eaten in the name of the 7D Mark III having proper 4K. Another Oreo cookie. Here we go.
all the Peter Gregg 4K people are still with me. They're still watching it on the second camera uh, angle. The consistency of that cookie, as good as the first two. So that means the uh, 1DX Mark II, the 5D Mark IV, and the 7D Mark III, which is actually the 7D Mark II right now. Uh, the consistency is excellent, so here's hope that the 4K quality is going to be excellent across all those cameras. Now, cookie number four. This is another Oreo cookie. It actually looks very much like the first three. And this one's going to be eaten uh, so that the, um, the Canon 80D, which is supposed to get 4K, um, maybe it'll become the Canon 90D, will have all the wonderful things that are supposed to be in the uh, 4K world uh, coming to the Canon 90D when it comes out. So that's what this Oreo cookie is for. And we're going to eat this cookie. Hope the consistency is good as the first uh, three, which is the 1DX Mark II, 5D Mark IV, the 7D Mark II. And now we're eating the um, ADD in hopes that it'll become the 90D. And the 4K will be absolutely deliciously excellent on the Canon 90D. Here it goes. The consistency between these Oreo cookies are remarkable. It must be this packaging. There's aluminum inner liner, and after the aluminum inner liner is the outer liner, which is probably still that same uh, foil type of a look, but printed. All four cookies have been very, very good. So what is the camera that we're missing that needs 4K to be added to it? We're going to go with um, uh, we're going to go with the 77D on this one. So we will have eaten our way through 4K coming wonderfully tasty and delicious in the 1DX Mark II, the 5D Mark IV, the 7D Mark III, the Canon um, 80D, and now not let's not only restrict this cookie to uh, the 77D, but one of the smaller cameras, maybe even the M50 or the M6 or something, to actually get a proper 4K with dual pixel focus. And dual pixel focus, by the way, is not going to be missing from any of these cookies that we just ate. So we're going to go with the fifth cookie, which is going to complete my promise to eat five cookies, uh, five Oreo cookies, if we got uh, 4K in the M50, which we did, as we all know. However, they snuck us a weenie and they took out dual pixel focus for the 4K mode. All right, so that's what this cookie is for. It uh, looks just like the uh, other four. It actually smells identical. So the consistency between cookies is very good and the cookies are baked just right. The right, around, the right amount of crispness, the right amount of chewiness, the right amount of that white cream in the center. I am aware that many people separate their cookies and they lick the white off and then eat these, but I enjoy it when the white and the dark brown or black is in my mouth at the same time. So I like it when it's mixed. So here's to the fifth cookie and this will complete my requirement of eating the five Oreo cookies uh, and we have named it after five different Canon cameras.
Well, there we have it. We have eaten five Oreo cookies. A little milk there to wash it down. I have no complaints about any of the five cookies. Let's make sure we're in our time limit. The cookies were delicious, each one. Of course, Oreo cookies are not healthy. The sixth one would be for that poor loner, the M50, uh, uh, which actually, believe it or not, is an absolutely wonderful camera. Actually, I'm going to say something a little bit different, and that is that the M50 is probably the best vlogging camera that you can buy today if you ignore the 4K aspect of it. It's got an articulating screen. It's got a mic input. It's got image stabilization. You can change your lenses. It's got an APS-C sized sensor. Uh, and all of this in a very, very small, tight package. It also has functioning dual pixel focus at 1080p. So if you have the G7X Mark II and you're longing for dual pixel focus in that camera, the M50 is the camera for you. Honestly, the M50 has got everything that you're missing, including the mic input so you can put that little baby road mic on the top now that is just amazing and canon comes along and shoots himself in the in the foot by adding 4k to that camera making it the focus point of that camera when it's actually the stumbling point so if you ignore 4k in the m50 then I would say you probably have the best vlogging camera and a superb, excellent stills camera because you can put every lens that Canon has made, the EF series and the EFS series, onto the M50 with an adapter, a Canon adapter, which is about $200. Uh, and then you have dual pixel focus on all of the Canon lenses, full functionality, no penalty, it's not going to have a penalty because it's uh, got an adapter on it. So it's the winning combination. And when you really want to get small, you can take the adapter off and switch to maybe a special uh, M uh, lens that's going to be on there. So that camera is really a hit right out of the park. As a matter of fact, it's so good, I'm going to increase my cookie count to six. Uh, and ignore the 4K that's in that camera and absolutely ignore this, I mean enjoy this because this cookie is representative of an M50 well done Canon. Ignore that that camera even has 4K. Someday if you need to shoot in 4K you could put that camera on a tripod, manually focus the camera and you've got 4K in a Canon with the Canon coloring that many people like. It's a win-win. It's Canon that shot themselves in the foot. They are the ones that missed out on their cookies by screwing up 4K, okay? So I'm going to eat this in honor of a M50 from Canon being such a well-done camera that if you're a vlogger, big thumbs up. Let's enjoy cookie number six together, all right? Now, we're going to do one more walk around the room, and we're going to go say hi to Jingles, who obviously missed the fact that I ate cookies, because normally this wrapper, clicking like that, gets his interest going. So, uh, this is going to be just a private moment, so just excuse me one second. Well, Jingles, I want to tell you that we ate the cookies. Yes, you want a tummy rub? You want a tummy rub? We ate the cookies because Peter lost a bet. Yes, Daddy lost a bet. 
how he said there'd be no 4K in the uh, M50 camera. Yes. And lo and behold, there was. But they, they gave us a sucker punch. They took out the dual pixel focus on the 4K. But without that, that camera is awesome. I can't wait to get one in here. You keep your paws off the microphone, okay? I don't know why you like to paw the microphone, but we're not going to do that today. So let me go close out the video, okay, because everybody's watching. We're going to go back and close out the video. And thank you to everybody that's uh, uh, watched and uh, enjoyed the cookies with me. They were very good. Again, the uh, premise of this show was taken after uh, a gentleman named John, and his uh, YouTube video is called The Report of the Week. Uh, it's something that you acquire a taste for. <laughs> it's, I, don't, I can't explain it in any other way, uh, but he does a good job. Uh, so I did dress up for the occasion. Thank you for joining. And now I'm going to close out this portion. I'm going to keep recording for the uh, Peter Gregg 4K channel so you can see what happens after a video. Uh, and uh, that'll be it. So Peter Gregg, Miami, Florida, live from the Christmas room. Bye-bye. You have just watched another Peter Gregg video. Something warm, human, and wonderful happens when you watch Peter Gregg. Thank you for watching. Description of all equipment used in this video plus any notes Peter took while filming are always placed in the description box, show more box, or down arrow thingy next to the title on mobile apps. Duly noted.